In August of 2022, my next guest nearly pulled off a colossal upset when the votes were counted in the DFL primary for the 5th Congressional District. Former city council member and community activist Don Samuels had almost beat Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, losing to her by about 2,500 votes. Don Samuels is live this morning. Thank you for coming in, sir. And your announcement is? Well, yes. Thank you, Esme. It's great to be here. So. Um, as of today, I will be, uh, I'm launching my campaign for uh, Congressional District CD5. Um, a rematch. A rematch, okay. yes. Um, you told me, we were talking before, that you have been overwhelmed with people encouraging you to run for the past two years. Yes. Describe that. Yeah, because it, we were so close. And uh, we started out in April. Which is, he, I, and I had forgotten how late you got into yes. the race. That's really pretty remarkable yes. that you did and, that well. And, and so we hustled to, uh, to get into the convention, uh, which was in May, <laughs> and uh, and then we 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 almost blocked the vote. We, we, uh, she won in the second round, and then we uh, lost in the primary by just two percentage points. All right. Let me ask you, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar has changed. She has been here in the district and in the state far more than she was in previous years, before 2022. Yeah. Uh, what about that? Does that change your opinion? Obviously not, because you're running, but... Yeah, she's been here more. I'm not sure about far more, um, but um, I still hear people complaining about constituent service. And um, so, for instance, there was a... Uh, a town hall meeting recently and then that changed into a zoom meeting and you know and people couldn't ask the questions they wanted mm -hmm. to so you know congresswoman it, it was I, I think it's a little too little too late and okay. um, and that uh, I'm not sure it reflects a real change okay. of heart but a response to pressure one thing that you really captured in 2022 was concern about crime, and we just talked with our yeah. previous guests about how some of those statistics are dropping. Obviously, we still have a really big problem. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar was among those leading the charge to overhaul the Minneapolis Police Department. You were saying basically stand by the police. Since then, she has been the lead negotiator getting progressives on board for a major police funding bill in Congress. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, let me say that she didn't, she wasn't advocating for police reform. In fact, when President Obama said, uh, defund the police is a snappy phrase that uh, jeopardizes the reform, she said it's not a snappy phrase, it's a policy demand. So she was for defunding the police, let there be no doubt about that. Okay, interesting. And so she yes. learned that that was uh, a losing cause for her and in fact it exacerbated the crime problem it emboldened the criminal community in my co neighborhood people felt they could do anything because the council and the congresswoman was on their side that's how it was interpreted okay. um, let me just give a, a quick quote from the congresswoman here if I can because mm -hmm. she did have a response to the fact that you were going to be coming on here uh, let's get to that here um, I'm incredibly proud of the model of co-governance we've built in the 5th District, which has included monthly town halls, routine constituent service, resource fairs, and a brand new district office. I brought over $40 million to the district in the form of community projects. How do you respond to that? I think maybe you have. Yeah, well, I, I put it this way. I got a call, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, uh, announcing a town hall meeting. And it's the only one I've gotten. And I got it on a robocall from her. And um, the, call, the, the, the town halls have been limited access. You have to get a ticket and, you know, those kinds of things. When I have a town hall meeting, it's going to be open in a space large enough to okay. entertain all comers. And questions can be asked by any member of the public without being vetted by a Zoom chat uh, process. And, um, and I'll face the music on all issues. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Don Samuels. We certainly will be following this race because it is a big rematch, and you did do very, very well. So thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And we look forward to covering your race. Thank you. And uh, folks can go to donsamuels.com 
to give, uh, donate to the campaign, and to volunteer. You are running. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. I do want to say that also announced for the campaign 2024 in the 5th District, Republican Dahlia Al-Aqida. She is a journalist, Democrat Sarah Gadd, an attorney, and Democrat Tim Peterson, an Air Force veteran.